It is honestly amazing how strong the hobo dwarf has become due to changes in his early campaign, most notably his hidden quest that one should always go for. Starting in Zarekil with your army, you are in rage within Karak Puftar and you need to attack broken nosed orcs. The first why it's quite straightforward, position your army on the hill, around it, protect your flanks and fight with your heroes. Your heroes are very strong in early game, they're gonna pretty much steamroll the enemy. The set them on battle as well. Use your heroes and rangers and with minimum damage to your army you should be able to win. In my case I rushed this bridge, left the missiles to deal with the orcs, while the orcs rushed my heroes and blobbed around them. Use the engineer to boost my ammo to make sure I have enough to kill all of them. After winning Karav Buftar, you get the activation of your hidden quest. And this is immediate threat. It gives you the opportunity to confederate Karak Hearn. Do it. You need their army to be able to take out Karak Izor and pretty much do most of what you want to do in this campaign. They give you unit of thunderers, two units of corallers, and most importantly, a siege unit, Grudge Throwers. Do not recruit any more units because you are suffering from an insane amount of army costs. Because, of course, Balgar gets 50% upkeep until he owns Karak 8 Peaks. Move your armies, especially the one by Alric, closer to Karak Izor, and then before you end your turn, make sure you're building a clan barracks, start researching uh, ammunition on wagons, and make sure that you have buildings going on in all of your settlements. Next turn, move your secondary army as close as possible to the settlement. It will prompt the AI to charge outside of the settlement and to charge at you. You will probably lose this fight. It is a very tough fight. It is possible, I have won it, but you will take massive losses. The idea here is to inflict as much damage to the enemy armies as possible, allowing you to easily auto-resolve on the next turn. Make sure your units survive. If you use one of the melee units, that is fine but your missiles and your artillery need to survive. At this point, you should be able to move Balagar close enough and auto resolve the fight for the settlement. If you want to fight the settlement, go ahead. But at this point, it's probably going to be minor losses. Should be turn four, you should have a clan barracks. Move all your army into Balagar, disband Alric, and start building up your army. This is where you start thinking what you want to do. Normally, you can start either expanding or if you so wish, move to Karak Eight Peaks can run towards there in a couple of turns and get there by turn 10 and the fight should be doable with your current army especially if you heal enough however i do not recommend this what i do recommend is that you start expanding and strengthening your borders you currently have a very thin empire and it is stretching by multiple enemies scrag on one side aranessa and Iket on the other to the south to the north you have the empire who might be on your side might not so keep in mind, always try to trade as much as possible, getting Myrmidons and Telia's settlements is important for this, especially if you take out Aranessa and manage to get Sartosa, you're gonna be in a very good place. Scrag is relatively easy to take out since ogres are weak to missile fire and you have very good missiles with very good accuracy. By turn 7 you should be in a position to move out and get ready to attack him. I recommend taking out his settlements before wiping out his army and try to fight him inside a minor settlement. His army is very good in the field but in choke point it suffers immensely especially since you have the missile units. In my case I rushed to Verdanos, I took down Myrmidons and on turn 12 I ended up in Argalis. With this start you should be able to take out everyone and anyone you want. It's on legendary difficulty so even on easier difficulties you should be okay. Your start position is going to be very strong to give you an army or two. You can start the assault on the Badlands, you can go and rush to take Karak 8 Peaks which at this point is normally overtaking my Quick or Skarsnik. And if you are ready, start expanding. You should go after Aranessa, you should go after Ikit Claw, because they will be a thorn in your side. You might be able to get alliances with Bretonia, with the Wood Elves and the Empire, and if you do so, you're going to have a lot of trading coming from there. If you also open up trade routes from the sea to Br Bretonia in the Southlands, and maybe even to Altwan, you're going to be in a good place. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you want more, subscribe. Bye bye.